Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Vice Chairman, members. My name is Ware Wendell, Executive Director of Texas Watch. We are in strong support of this legislation. I'm going to see if I can give you back some time, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> you don't have to. And we, we support this bill because it helps policyholders get what they paid for, and it gets insurance companies back to paying claims. Our current system is broken for too many families. You've heard from Mrs. Rogers and Mrs. Berger, and we appreciate them so much for making the trip uh, down under uh, difficult circumstances. Our current system adds delay and cost for so many families and insurance companies, let's just back up. Insurance companies know how to adjust claims. It is their job. They do it every day. You don't have to get a, a jury finding for them to pay for your broken pipe or even to pay for an auto claim. They know how to do this. They do it all the time. These are Texans who are extra responsible. They're paying more for first party insurance coverage to protect themselves, to protect their body, Representative Romero, to protect their property. And it's frankly, it's going to take you. It's going to take this body to change this area of the law because for 15 years now, we've had this Supreme Court decision on the books, the Brainerd versus Trinity case, that is leaving so many families out in the cold to walk this 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 line for six years even um, we want insurance companies to pay what they promised if you think about it and i so appreciate your question representative romero policyholders are not told what they're getting into here those premiums are taken but they don't know that these are in essence the highest deductible uh, policies on the market because you may have to go get a lawyer you may have to go get experts and they don't know that they think that they're, they're covering themselves in case that other person is not covered. Uh, the last time I looked, Mr. Chairman, it's 14% of the market that is under, I'm sorry, uninsured on our roads right now. So I thank Chairman Guerin. I thank the 76 authors on this bill, um, and I'm happy to take any questions. And maybe I gave you a minute back. Appreciate you. Members, any questions for Mr. Wendell? Sure. Yes, Representative Israel. Oh. I have a question about the product, uh, or not the product, or the need. The need for this product is because there are there are drivers who um, <clears throat> either don't have enough insurance or think it's cute not to have insurance. Um, and I'm I'm, an El, I'm from El Paso. Is this still a uh, an, an issue that's a, um, a problem along the border, or is it scattered throughout the state? Where do, where do things stand now? Throughout the state. Yeah. Okay. And and. Look, people are hurting right now with the pandemic. Our economy has been decimated. It's hard for folks to afford insurance. I'm not excusing it. We've been in favor of more insurance. But, but if, if families like mine are going to pay more to try to protect ourselves, we need to be able to get what we paid for. And we shouldn't have to go to court for six years. And yes, we're dealing with the backlog from the pandemic. Our courts are going to do their level best to clear that backlog, but the problem's even worse than it was before. When I, when I first heard about this, I, I thought um, I thought of the border, but what you're saying is that this this is in every corner of the state where we have this, these issues. It's not yes. a regional problem. Yes, Representative. Uh, uh, the last time I looked, we've got 14% of drivers across the state without insurance. And so any one of us could find ourselves in this position if we have purchased a UM policy and our company doesn't bless us and say, yes, we're going to pay it. What the bill does is it just takes away that ready-made excuse that's that's available to the companies right now where they can say, oh, I'm so sorry, Brainerd says that uh, you have to get a judgment in this case and we'll see you in two or three or six years. Um, it takes that excuse away, but um, but companies still have the, the ability to contest where, where liability is not reasonably clear and that's protected under 541060 of the insurance code. So insurance companies currently have protections right now. If they really need to contest this matter, they can. But where liability is reasonably clear, they need to pay up, they should, and this just says that they don't get to hide behind that judgment requirement that the Supreme Court case gives them. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Members, any other questions for Mr. Wendell?